So the Cardinals landed a wide receiver in the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft, but not in the way that fans expected. If you haven't already heard, the Cardinals traded for wide receiver Marquise Hollywood Brown from the Baltimore Ravens. The Cardinals acquired Brown as well as a third round pick, number 100 overall, in exchange for pick number 23 in the first round. Brown is a 24 year old wide receiver who's five foot nine, 180 pounds, and most notably played his college football at Oklahoma with Kyler Murray. Now in 2019, he was a first round pick, number 25 overall by the Baltimore Ravens. Due to foot injury at the time, he didn't participate in the combine or pre-draft workouts, but he has reportedly run an unofficial 4.32 40 yard dash. Any way you look at it, Brown is fast, blazing fast. In his three years with the Baltimore Ravens, he's been a solid receiver, and in 2021 had 91 receptions for 1,008 yards, with six touchdowns. Brown is a proven commodity. He's shown that he can play at the NFL level. It's also worth noting that Baltimore is not a pass heavy offense. One could argue that their run heavy approach makes his numbers that much more impressive. During the press conference about the trade, coach Cliff Kingsbury was asked if he'd play inside or outside. Kingsbury indicated that Marquise Brown can play both inside and out and envisioned him taking over the role that Christian Kirk played for the team. And when you look at where Hollywood Brown has lined up over the course of his career, it adds up. Throughout his NFL career, he has actually lined up as a wide outside wide receiver more than he has in the slot. In 2019, he played 65% of his snaps on the outside. In 2020, 77.8. And in 2021, 68.5% of his snaps were on the outside. Now imagine in the Cardinals offense, he will play in the slot more than he did in Baltimore. In Kingsbury's offense, he does tend to like his smaller receivers as slot receivers and bigger receivers outside to go up for those 50-50 balls. But he did play Christian Kirk on the outside some, and he'll probably do the same thing with Hollywood Brown. Now, a lot of Cardinals fans were hoping that the team would trade up and get one of the top wide receivers in this draft class. But going after a known commodity like Hollywood Brown has some advantages. Any receiver you draft is still a risk as to whether or not they're gonna make it or be a bust. With Brown, we at least know what he is capable of. He's shown that he can be a thousand yard receiver in the NFL. Now, one of the disadvantages is he is in the third year of his rookie deal and they're going to have to pay him sooner than they would have to pay someone they drafted. And with as much of an advantage as rookie contracts have been in terms of the salary cap, that is noteworthy. But in the end, I think the Cardinals decided they would rather have to pay Hollywood Brown in a couple years than take a risk with a rookie wide receiver who may or may not pan out. And even if that receiver did work out, another thing to take into account is that Brown, having played with Kyler Murray at Oklahoma and being three years into his NFL career, should be ready to step in, contribute, and have an immediate rapport with Kyler Murray. Any rookie they were going to draft was going to have to work his way into the lineup, develop that rapport with Murray, and work through everything that comes with being a rookie. If you're looking at it from a win now perspective, this was a better option than anyone they were going to draft. Now, some of those players may have higher upsides, but there's also higher risk. And another piece of this is his relationship with Kyler Murray. Brown and Murray are close friends going back to their time in Oklahoma, and this shows that the Cardinals are committed to Kyler long term. And with all the stuff in the news cycle about the contract extension with Kyler and his agent, this trade goes a long way to help put those concerns to rest. The Cardinals are going to extend Kyler probably this summer, and he's going to be happy playing with one of his closest friends and a receiver he has a rapport with. One more thing to take into account with this trade. With the way that receivers were going off the board, for the Cardinals to trade up high enough to get one of the receivers they liked, someone like Chris Olave or Jamison Williams, they were probably going to have to give up the 23rd pick and maybe next year's first round pick. In this trade, they give up the 23rd, but they get Brown and a third round pick back. That's one more player in a draft that many people believe has good value in the third round. There's a lot to like about this trade. And when you look at the Cardinals receiving core, DeAndre Hopkins, Rondell Moore, AJ Green, Hollywood Brown, and then Zach Ertz as a pass catcher, that's a solid group of receivers. And with Brown only being 24 years old, I'd expect him to be a core part of this offense for years to come. All things considered, this is a solid trade that makes this team much better than they were going into the draft. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule.